What happens if you want to go ahead and have a lot more fun and you actually want to build your own animated GIF? Well, guess what I've done? I've built an animated GIF. Yes. So I've run this before. I'm actually going to go through here and yes, I want to delete the frame and no, I don't want you to keep asking. So there we go. I want to delete all those frames. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you won't have to do this. It's just that I ran this before just to make sure everything was good. How I'm going to build an animated GIF here is I'm literally going to do frame by frame. Because if I'm going to build this myself and I'm doing an animation, frame animation is exactly that. You animate every frame. And it's as simple as this. I just go into my layers here and I create every single frame as a layer. Nice and easy. Okay. And basically what I do is I duplicate the layer before and then I add something else to it, duplicate the layer before and add something else to it. Actually, I do it all backwards. I build the entire file like this. So I have just this. And as I do, I go in and I actually take things away. So I'm actually building the entire thing backwards. Okay? Because it's a whole lot easier to take it apart you know, than trying to build it and make everything work. Crazy. So this is all built with paths. This isn't built with technically with pixels. It's going to turn it into pixels here. So what I'm going to do here is I built my entire animation backwards and then every frame that I do, I basically take something away from that each and every frame as I go through. Okay? Which, of course, you wouldn't know until you actually build this and you're like, ah, building it backwards actually makes a whole bunch of sense. It does. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start at the very top here with my first image because this is where I quote unquote started. And now I always have to call up my timeline here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to now put each one of these into the timeline. Or I can click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. But I'm going to go to my timeline cheese grater and I'm going to make a frame from every one of my layers. Hence the frame animation. So I make frame from layers and there it is. It puts it all in there. And clearly, as I see all this stuff, it knew that I started from the last one and went to the first one right there because, of course, it put everything in backwards. And it's like, seriously? Yeah. Well, you can drag these frames around in any order that you want to have, which is going to take an awful lot, especially if you have a two hour long movie and you've got like 67 million frames. In this case, I want to keep this as a simple little movie. Um, what I want to do here is I want to reverse the frames. Okay? So I just want them to go the opposite direction. That's all. So I'm going to reverse the frames so the first one literally looks like this. I'm going to slide it all the way over. There's my first frame and it begins to build. So I'm going to start in the first frame here. I'm going to press play and it's going to go through and it builds my entire gear. Okay, And let's see that again. And once more. Wow. Okay. It's a bit fast. I'd like to slow it down a bit. So I can go in and I can select all my frames in here. Shift on, click on the first one, shift click on the last one so all my frames are selected. I've got my timing here that I can simply click on this and I can do a certain delay between each and every frame. So there's my frame delay. I press one and that slows it down comfortably. I'd like to slow it down ever so slightly more. So right click on here, two tenths of a second and let's see how that looks. Okay. So I think I like the, that build rate right there. It gets smaller at the end because my last one I just made a little bit smaller. I was going to do a much more elaborate one where they then merged together and turned and everything and I thought, okay, then we got away about processing time. I actually did build them and then got rid of them. I know. So I can go ahead and control my loop once, three times, forever. It's basically the last ones that I used. So if I want to loop it forever there, I can go ahead and do that. And I can press play and it'll of course loop forever and it'll just keep building this. Doesn't make sense, but okay. So there it is. Awesome. Keeps going, going, going. I'm just going to loop it once. And that's basically how I'm going to go in and I'm going to build my animated timeline. Just like that. Each and every frame.